Okay, so today we have Depeche Mode and everything counts. Um, so I did get a comment. I mean, I've got a few comments, but I remember somebody saying, you know, I haven't done Depeche Mode in a long time. And it's very true. And I don't know. Uh, so, you know, over the weekend, I was thinking I should do Depeche Mode again. I don't know. Anyway, and uh, this one, I know there's a few versions of this song. So this one is the seven inch version, I want to say. Uh, it's three minutes, 58 seconds. So yeah. Uh, and I know there's longer ones and all that stuff as well. And also, um, I, my lips are still a little cracked here. I was sick last week and I didn't upload for a couple days. Uh, so I do kind of still look like Chucky a little bit. But anyway, we're going to get into this. Lots of bliss decks later. Here we are. Let's listen to Everything Counts and talk about it after. Distinct sound already. very nice everything counts by depeche mode uh from 1983 all right so i mean <laughs> i have to say at the top i mean like i said off the top as well was you know when he comes well when the music starts it's uh it's that distinctive uh depeche mode dm sound and uh yeah it's just like i don't and i mean you talk about 
um, when Dave Gahan, I mean, I, I've heard uh, Dave, his name, his last name, you know, pronounced as Gahan and Gone. So either way, uh, when Dave comes in, uh, it's like, you know, I'm thinking to myself when I'm hearing him, like, is there anyone who else who sounds like Dave Gone? And uh, I don't know, it's just his voice and especially with the, um, the I guess the harmonies or whatever with him. Or I don't know if they did harmonies or not. I think, well, actually, yeah, they both did the chorus, apparently, uh, from what uh, Genius is telling me here. But anyway, from Martin Gore and uh, Dave, it's just like his voice, I guess Dave's voice kind of, it has a punchier sound. It has a punchier feel, anyway, for me. And then uh, Martin Gore comes in, and his voice is a lot more higher. It's a lot more, uh, I don't know, it's a lot more, I guess you would say, nicer or whatever. I don't know, it's not as cutting as Dave's is. And uh, I don't know, it's just a great combination. And uh, especially, you know, when it's kind of like, Dave is like, you know, well, he's talking, well, actually, I guess they both talk about the grabbing hands, but Martin says it in like kind of a, a sweeter way, I, I guess, uh, than what Dave sounds like. And uh, again, but Dave's voice is just so, uh, again, it's distinct in itself as well. And uh, it's just, I don't know, something about that, <clears throat> especially with, I mean, obviously this band was not uh, afraid to explore sounds. I mean, there's a xylophone in here, an oboe. Uh, you know, it's just like <laughs> all these instruments and it's just like, I don't know, I just love their their style. And obviously it's very, I guess, 80s, you would say. I mean, I, this really worked in the early 80s uh, and a melodica in there as well. And uh, it just really made the, the tune sound fun, even though I guess the lyrical content, you would say, you know, obviously <laughs> uh, is about uh, corporate greed, I guess you would say. Uh, the grabbing hands, grab what, <laughs> what they can. Uh, and yeah, it's just, I don't mean, it was a really good song. I really enjoyed this. And uh, yeah, so I will get into here on Genius.com. There is an about for the song, of course. So let me just read this here to find more information and read more, I guess. And if you can hear my dog in the background snoring, I apologize, but she's sleeping. Anyway. Everything Counts is Depeche Mode's eighth single, eighth single, good lord, and the fourth track on Construction Time Again. Uh, it peaked at number six of the UK, tying See You as their highest charting single at the time. In 1985, Martin Gore called this song one of the band's favorite singles. So, I mean, yeah, I can, and I mean, yeah, even him just saying that, you know, maybe he's, you know, not trying to puff it up or whatever, but it is a really good single. I mean, it really is nice to the ears, which I mean, is, I guess, a, a really, really good, you know, part uh to be a single and uh, uh, although it does talk about you know i don't know why i'm stuttering or something although it talks about you know the grabbing hands grab what they can and what i see here is that the band wasn't even signed to a label at the time so i mean this was all kind of i mean kind of badass that they put it out and uh you know they weren't even signed to a label you know talking about the grabbing hands and all this stuff they didn't care i guess uh anyway andy fletcher uh who was in the band of course <laughs> he said on every Everything Counts, he said, we were experimenting with various new technology that was available. We now had emulators and, uh, oh, good Lord, synclavers, synclaviers, I haven't seen that word, and we wanted to move into a new era of sound. Uh, so, yeah, and I mean, that's what I was talking about. I mean, the sound, it's just, it's not even the lyrics, you know, if you just listen to the sound, it's almost like, you know, almost like a circus, you know, it's almost like, you know, freaking music from like mario world or something it's just like uh i don't know and it's just like a video game it's just like i don't know but i like it it's just like it's fun that's what it is even though again like i said you know you're talking about the grabbing hands i just like how they did that uh it goes on as well there's another quote here uh i guess this might be from andy again but it says are there differences between the album and single versions okay he said uh yes although not many the single edit is a mere 21 seconds shorter achieved by removing the third repetition of everything counts in large amounts uh from the second chorus and starting the fade out from an earlier point in the final chorus uh so yeah okay there's 21 seconds difference and actually i don't think there was any part of the band i think that was just a question on genius uh but anyway i was kind of wondering what the different what difference was uh but again this was the uh the seven inch version and i think it's the same version that they used for the music video because it's the same time uh stamp so anyway yeah uh so moving into you know looking at some of the lyrics here uh just to see you know what's going on you know how dave comes in and again i love dave's voice i mean that's an underrated voice i feel like even depeche mode i i haven't heard too much about depeche mode in my and you know uh just i guess in my life or whatever before i listen to them here but yeah i mean this band it's just i feel I, even though they've sold over 100 million records worldwide i mean good lord uh but i still feel like you know i don't hear too much about depeche mode I don't know. Anyway, just for me, anyway, it's at least here in Canada. But anyway, uh, the handshake seals the contract. From the contract, there's no turning back. The turning point of a career 
and Korea being insincere. The holiday was fun packed. The contract still intact. Um, and of course, we have the course coming in here with Martin Gore and David Gahan. Uh, but there is an inner, or, uh, I don't know what I was going to say there, but there is an uh, annotation uh, from the first verse. Uh, so it's not uncommon for musical acts to be given perks as a part of the negotiation proce process, in this case, a vacation. Uh, and while the holiday was in fact very fun, once it all uh, is done, <laughs> uh, the glad handing is finished. Uh, the reality of the contract they've signed is still there. Uh, so yeah, either way, yeah, you're signed to a contract. There's no turning back. I mean, yeah. Uh, the course, of course, the grabbing hands, grab with the can, all for themselves, after all, the grabbing hands, grab with all the, the can, all for themselves, after all. It's a, competi a competitive world. Everything counts in large amounts. And I just really like, you know, uh, these lyrics are very, I mean, yeah, you would say true, obviously. Uh, the grabbing hands, grab with the can. I mean, they're, you know, producers, What am I, either way, you know, bigger heads in the music industry uh, trying to get ahead of a, you know, a small band coming in like Depeche Mode or something. Uh, it's just like, you know, it's a competitive world. Uh, when you talk about, even if you just talk about music, obviously, yeah, I mean, there's so many bands out there competing to, uh, you know, have your ears to have you listen to them, whatever. Um, you know, everything counts in large amounts. And I just like, again, I don't know, it's a competitive world. It's just like, just the way that they're singing it so sweetly, uh, even though the content, again, is not very sweet. Uh, so then, of course, the second verse, the graph on the wall tells the story of it all. <laughs> Picture it now. See just how the lies and deceit gained a little more power. Confidence taken in by a, by a suntan and a grin. Uh, so again, like I was saying, you know, Dave is kind of, you know, obviously he's doing the verses and the verses are like, you know, you know, kind of, I, I was going to say like depressing, but they're kind of like uh, depressing for a musician. Uh, you know, talking about the greed and you're talking about a suntan and a grin. Uh, just a guy that wants your money, whatever. It's just like, you know, just picture it now. The lies and deceit gained a little more power. And then, of course, the uh, the grabbing hands, I'll grab all the can, the chorus comes in again. And, uh, you know, it changes from Dave's kind of punchy voice to, you know, a more sweeter sound. <laughs> it's just like, I don't know, I just like the dynamic through, throughout the whole song. Uh, and then, of course, we have the chorus. There we go. Uh, the bridge, everything, 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 everything. And then the chorus once again. And then the outro. Everything counts in large amounts. Uh, so Martin Gore. And again, I've talked about it before. Uh, you know, Martin Gore and Dave Gahan. Uh, but again, I, they're just so good together. I mean, obviously, the Pesh Mode, uh, you know, was very successful. Like I said, it sold over 100 million records worldwide. And it's just... I mean, it's just, I mean, their sound is so good. It's just like, and again, it's so uh, experimental. Uh, and especially with, uh, I guess, what Andy Fletcher was saying there as well. You know, they wanted to try out different things. And uh, I just really enjoy, you know, they didn't they didn't really care. Uh, you know, they didn't hold back on trying new things. Um, so yeah, just really enjoy it. But there is one more thing. I mean, just to wrap it up here, uh, from Wikipedia here, it says background and themes on the song. And again, this is what I like to do. You know, talk about the lyrical content of the song. Uh, so it says, uh, the single introduced a transition in lyrical content for the group. Everything Counts specifically addresses th the issues of corporate greed and corruption in Britain as the chorus sings uh, of grabbing hands that they grab all they can. Perhaps surprisingly, the single was released at, at a time that the band was not under a formal contract uh, with Mute Records. Uh, Gore publishes his songs under the name Grabbing Hands Music. <laughs> I like that. In addition to uh, found sounds used as samples, the single also also samples a variety of musical instruments, such as the xylophone and the melodica, uh, which Gore has been known to play on stage for the song. Uh, it goes on, it was the first song of the band's catalog, which includes both of the band's uh, singers uh, prominently singing at different times on it. So I guess that's, yeah, one of the first ones. Dave Gone sings lead vocals and... Uh, Sings lead vocals on the verses, while main songwriter Martin Gore sings the lead vocals on the choruses uh, with backing from Alan Wilder. Uh, and it goes on, and uh, when the song was performed live, the chorus has been sung by all members except Gone. Uh, and it goes on and on. Anyway, but yeah, my vision is not very good. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> which is pretty bad because I'm not that far away from the freaking computer. Anyway, I really enjoy the song, you know, talking about corporate greed, talking about corruption. I mean, you're talking about the grabs, you know, the grabs, the hands that grab everything that they can. But I mean, they made it sound pretty sweet and they made it sound like a circus. And uh, I just really enjoyed it. So, yeah. Anyway, I guess that's all I got to say. This video is long enough. Uh, so thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, subscribing, commenting. And sorry for my lips, you know, looking at my lips this whole time if you did. Uh, but I mean, I've been trying, I've putting, I've been putting, uh, you know, the old chapstick or the old freaking Blistex on them every day. Uh, 
hopefully everything works out soon. Anyway, thanks for watching again. Thanks for liking, subscribing, commenting, all that stuff. Really appreciate all the support. And I'm glad to upload another video here after taking a couple days off because I was sick as a dog. Anyway, I'll see you guys again soon.